The iconic T-Rex is one of the deadliest predators of all time. Its powerful predator jaws contain over 60 thick, bone-shattering teeth and bite force that is enough to crush a car. Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video where today we've got the newest of the species field guides, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex for everybody who calls it that. It's finally here, one of the ones that I have personally been waiting for for a long time. I actually was kind of surprised that my expectations for the tease yesterday were correct. I was expecting it to just be a little tease and then it'd be coming soon, but I didn't think it, the T-Rex would be coming in this soon, especially because we still got just under two months to go until the game is released. And considering last time the species field guide for T-Rex was like one of the last ones they did, but oh well, I'm fine with it. Now, before we get into the field guide itself, I just want to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button and enjoy the hunt, as the channel has been sort of slacking lately, unfortunately, and I hope we can get it higher than it is now. But anyway, back to the video. So, first thing I want to talk about is actually the image that was revealed yesterday of the T-Rex, well, specifically the T-Rexes, as there was an image for the Tuesday trivia that Evolution does weekly, and it showed the two T-Rexes that we finally got our first, like, official look at the T-Rex, really. We haven't, we've gotten little clips and bits of it, but we finally have, like, a good look at them, and it's interesting. It shows them with, um, a red, like, pattern on their skull, as well as a pale, um, body and stuff, which I, I like how simple it is. Would prefer a little bit more on that one, but, you know, the other skins in this field guide give, make up for that. And with the um, image, we actually got a description on how the T-Rex will exit out when there's multiple. So apparently it'll start with um, a shot of um, the iconic footstep, as like almost everything does with the T-Rex now, but still awesome. And then it'll pan up to the first T-Rex, which will be the one on the right that's standing up straight. It'll give a little growl and before um, starting to turn away and zoom out to show the second T-Rex coming out, where it'll be just like sort of hunched over as if like trying not to show itself to be bigger than this T-Rex. Before once it pans out and showing both of them, the first T-Rex will then give an iconic roar, of course, which is awesome. But not too much to that. I like how we're getting some information on how some of the dinosaurs will come out, as we've seen some for certain dinosaurs already, but now we get to see one of the big boys. But now on to the thing you've been waiting for, the field guide itself. So let's talk about the um, field guide first. First, I want to discuss both the skins of the T-Rex that are shown, which the first one we get to have a good look of is a dark brown with a light underbelly T-Rex that has um, some reddish stripes that are very faint, sort of a like a faded red on the back of it, sort of like the tiger stripes that we've seen for other dinosaurs as well, and even with the T-Rex, because not too long ago we got a shot of T-Rex with a turquoise, with turquoise stripes on it, and for this one we get to see the nice red-brown, and it looks very dirty and rough, but very, very cool looking. And then the other one is actually a very similar look to both the JP3 female raptor and the um, white atrociraptor from Jurassic World Dominion, as it's a pale color just like them, and also is shown with a bunch of stripes on the back, which I gotta say, I love how, despite this not being a raptor, they're giving a nice callback to it with this skin, and it looks very menacing even, and you can see all the muscles working on this one. It looks badass. But now, now that we've talked about the skins, let's also go into the field guide itself. So we get our first shot showing the brown rex actually roaring in its enclosure with the um, white T-Rex in the background sort of keeping its distance, which 
is what we know to be because they're going to try and stay away from each other because they don't they are not social apparently apparently t-rex will not be a social animal again which is a little unfortunate but i hope we can still at least have two which from this failed guide it is suggesting that and then we get a shot of um both of them actually sort of fighting each other not like biting and stuff like they're thrashing their heads in to each other and stuff which could be like their way of showing dominance over each other similar to how previously we got to see how Carnotauruses will bash their horns together to sort of see which is stronger as a dominance display it's the same with these guys except these guys are just throwing their tanks tank like heads around each other and then we get the best part of this whole thing which is two both t-rexes coming up to a jeep and the shot the setting it is a clear reference to the lost world jurassic park where the rex family actually come to kill eddie carr and destroy his car because he's trying to save the um rv from falling off the cliff and it's the exact same angle almost slightly it's a little bit different, of course, but it's a clear reference, and the final shot also shows one of the Rexes, the white one, looking through the mirror and then roaring, which, again, is a reference to The Lost World as well. It's awesome, it's amazing, and I will complain to this to my staff that this driver does not seem to notice that there's two giants right behind her, ready to rip her car apart. But then again, I didn't hire this one, Evolution 2 did, so, well, Frontier, you gotta work on hiring new staff because, um, she, she does not know what's going on. <laughs> but, we also get a bit of information before we go on the forums, which explains its, um, habitat requirements and its food, um, requirements. So for the food, it simply states that it requires live meat and will be highly aggressive if not given what it needs, which is interesting for the food because will it break out? Will it actually go after other dinosaurs, including its own, even if they're perfectly fine? Like, it'd be interesting if you gave, say, the wrong feeder to the T-Rexes, and you had two of them in, would they go after each other just because they don't have the right food? Or will they, like, instantly start breaking out instead? I wonder how that'll go. And for the habitat requirements, states that they'll need a bit of, um, forested area, as well as some sandy area, and some open plains, which, from the looks of these enclosures that we've seen of these two T-Rexes in the field guide, it ver it looks very similar. And I, I, I just can't wait, guys. Like, this one really is making me excited. It's way better than the Mosasaurus was last week, and I have to say. Because, like, we've already seen so much of Mosasaurus lately, and not much of the T-Rex. But now we finally get a great look at the T-Rex. I'm still surprised that this field guide came so soon. Like, I thought it would be, like, one of the last ones, like it was for, um... Jurassic World Evolution 1, where the one of the last um, species field guides was um, T-Rex, but it wasn't, but I'm not complaining. T-Rex is finally here, and I get to savor it, because it's awesome, and I cannot wait for next week's whatever it is, whether it's another um, dinosaur, another r marine reptile, or a pterosaur, I don't know. But if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye